Let's solve problems 7.83 for Microelectronic Circuits 8th edition by Cedrin Smith. Source follower is required to deliver a 0.5 volt peak sinusoid to a 2 kilo ohm load. If the peak amplitude of VGS is to be limited to 50 millivolts, and the MOSFET transconductance parameter Kn is 5 milliamp per volt squared, what is the lowest value of drain current at which the MOSFET can be biased? Okay, let's draw this. So we have a source follower. So we have our signal at the source. We We have our signal resistance. Okay, we enter the transistor. Up here we have our dependent current source, I. And we're just going to be grounded at the source. Now we have two key things here for the terrain we have. Our resistor here, which is just one divided by GM. And we have VGS here, voltage from gate to source. And that's equal to a 50 millivolt peak. And we also have an output of 0 0.5 volts. So this is V out, which is related to our load resistance. OK. So we can use the following equation to solve for drain current. It's going to be GM is equal to the positive square root of 2 times Kn times Id. So we can see we need to figure out what GM is. So GM, uh, how can we find GM? We have this resistor here, 1 divided by GM. So we can leverage that to basically solve for this resistor division. So I have this resistor 1 divided by GM. We can set that equal to 0 0.1 times the load resistance based on this figure. So that means GM is equal to 1 divided by the load resistance times 0 0.1. I should probably clarify where I got the 0 0.1 from. It's just this voltage division. So 50 millivolts divided by 0 0.5 volts is equal to 0 0.1. Hopefully that clarifies that. So that's equal to 1 divided by 0 0.1 times the load resistance. Uh, were we given that? Yeah, 2 kilo ohms. So I get that GM is equal to 5 milliamp per volt which means if we can isolate the drain current to be gm squared divided by 2kn, so that is 5 milliamp per volt squared, divided by 2 times kn, which is also 5 milliamp per volt squared, and I get 2.5 milliamps for ID. Excellent. At this bias current, what are the maximum and minimum currents that the MOSFET will be conducting? So what does that mean? So that's basically asking for lowercase i sub capital D, which is including the DC current, which we just saw for, plus the AC current. And we can calculate the AC current to be the output voltage, its amplitude, this is really just the peak amplitude of the AC current divided by the load resistance. So that's going to be 0 0.5 volts divided by, uh, not 10, 2 kilo ohms. Sorry about that. 2 kilo ohms. That gets us 0 0.25 milliamps. So therefore, the maximum will be the DC, 2.5, plus the amplitude of our AC, 0 0.25 to get 2.75 milliamps. And then our minimum drain current will be the DC 
minus the amplitude of the AC to get 2.25 milliamps. And then what must the peak amplitude of Vsig be? We can leverage the following equation. It's just equal to the amplitude of the voltage from gate to source plus the output voltage. So that's uh, 50 millivolts or 0 0.05 volts plus 0 0.5 volts, and that's equal to 0 0.55 volts for Vsig. And that solves the problem. Thank you for watching my video. For any comments, questions, or video suggestions, please reach me in the comments section or by email. Thank you, and have a great day.